We're here to celebrate all things black cinema and you picked a film that I was actually unfamiliar with called Fat Girls with none other than Monique. For those who haven't watched it and unaware, do you want to let people know what it's about? Monique. Oh, I love it. So it's about, um, I feel like it's about somebody finding acceptance within themselves. Um, it's about Monique finding acceptance of her character um, uh, feeling comfortable within her body and finding love and then realising that, you know, someone will love you just for, you know, because you are who you are yeah. and um, with all your flaws and all. Um, so, yeah, I think that I'd say it's about somebody finding acceptance. As it's not as well known as for Monique's films, what made you choose this one? Other than, let's say, like Precious, for example. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can I say my favourite line in that film? Do it. You know when she says, Precious, come and finish mummy off. Yeah. I'm so, I think I, I still, to this day, I've only watched that film once because I couldn't. I mentally, emotionally, and physically couldn't watch that film more than once because it was very traumatic. I know, but the thing is, is that that's like I've not. I think I've watched it once, and I watched like years and years, maybe like yeah. more than ten years ago, maybe or maybe more than seven years ago. Yeah, and it's implanted. Mm -hmm. Precious, come and finish mummy off. That was a. <laughs> Just, That's not I, funny. It took me a minute to look at Monique in the same way. Like, it just, I was like, you played that a little bit too well. I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, Monique has been under fire recently, most recently about things that she said, her claims, being like, you know, one of the best comedians or the best comedian and, or successful comedian, should I say. Um, where do you rate her in your comedian? I think she's absolutely incredible. She hasn't, it's, it, the thing is, um, she's been upset that she's not been given a Netflix special, isn't it? Well, I mean, come. They were trying to pay her, I think. So she was basically saying, if you're going to pay Chris Rock this amount, I'm more successful than Chris Rock. So therefore, I should get more. Um, I, I mean, I, I agree with her. Mm. I agree with her. Like, why... She's absolutely incredible. She's, yeah. uh, it's different if she was saying, oh, Dave Chappelle, I should be getting the same amount as Dave Chappelle. But, like, why... I Yeah, I agree with her. I know there was some... She posted something else recently. Did you see it? On it, Gate. She was saying that um, we need to do better and you shouldn't come out like that. And, I mean, I really didn't like that. Yeah, quite a few sisters are walking around going Tesco's or whatnot with a bonnet on their hair. And Monique felt like that wasn't presentable enough. And I just think sometimes, like, you may have your opinion. I don't know why everyone thinks they need to share their opinion, first of all. Um, <laughs> but two, it's like, that's that person. Like, let them live. Like, let them do whatever they uh, want. Taking the photo was too far. That is a violation. Because she's famous and has that platform, you're now bringing so much attention, unwanted attention to this person who didn't ask for it or didn't want it. You know? I just think, especially when you are this prominent person within our community or within the communities, that you should be careful on how you speak about things because it can be yeah. really damning. I 100% agree. Um, I also think that you just don't know what that person was going through that day. That person may never have ever stepped out of their house in a bonnet, but they needed to do something really quickly because, you know, you just never know. So I just think it, it wasn't very... Didn't like that, Monique. Mo Monique, I didn't like that. No, didn't like that at all. I mean, no one wants to, you know, if you catch me going to my corner shop, it's <laughs> it's not red lipstick with lashes, babe. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, Viola Davis? Yes, but she, she's another, I find her performances always so moving, no matter how small or big of a role she's playing. She really hones in on that character and just makes it her own, which is something yeah. like love to watch she's the best crier oh she does this cry which i think is just outstanding where she makes a bit of snot drip down <laughs> it's just here and it rests here on her lip and you're like is it gonna go in is it gonna go do you know the, do you know the cry i'm on about the fence is one listen that fence is cry right just from that scene i felt pain anger anguish 
And when snot is coming out, that's when you know you're, you're proper crying out. You're not even acting now. You're just proper crying. She's crying. Do you know what? Uh, I have to be honest. Um, um, and uh, Don't kill me. I've not watched Fences yet. So I... I've...